I'd like to welcome everyone to the Wobble 884 Lumber Theater. Wookie with Ashley Clark. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing great. Thank you. There you go. Oh, oh mattering of split. I like that. I they clap for you, not me. I like that. That's the way it should be. So, uh, Clark Family Experience, that's where yeah. people may recognize you from. Yeah, back uh, in the day, I was probably like 18 or 17, and we might have came through here. I was, uh, there were six of I us. I think so, yeah. Back, like, probably early 2000s. Mm -hmm. And, um, we, uh, we, there were six brothers in the band, and we, um, we were signed to Curb Records, and we kind of, that fell apart because we kept fighting with each other. <laughs> you know how brothers are. I don't exactly. know if you have brothers. I have a brother. We had, I, I we, couldn't we, imagine being on the road. We had to break up. It was just, it was getting crazy. So. <laughs> and you have five brothers all with A's to start their name. Well, well there's 11 kids all together. Yeah. Um, but I mean in the band. That in, were the band in the band, yeah. yes. In, 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 yeah. It was Alan, Aaron, Adam, Ashley, Andrew, Austin, Alexander, Abraham, Avery, Amy, and Amber. Wow. I don't know how my mom Did your parents survived. not know that there's like other letters in the alphabet to have names that, you know, start with? I think I think there was uh, accident was one. But <laughs> <laughs> that was bad. I'm sorry, mom. This way they could just put A on everything and you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Rocky Mount, Virginia. I Mo looked it up. Moonshine capital of the world. Yes. And it is also one of the smallest county seats in the country. Yes. I it, mean, there's nobody there. No. And it's in the middle of nowhere. But they are starting to get some notoriety because, because they are the moonshine. They're, yes, they're, they're the moonshine capital of the world. And like 10 years ago, there was a big bus there. Um, the FBI came in because I remember being this. There was a store downtown. All it's all it said on it was supplies, and, <laughs> and it just had like no, it had nothing in the windows, and you never knew. What, it was like who runs that store? And, and the FBI came and shut, like kicked the doors in, and they found 10,000 pounds of corn and sugar, and they were making all this moonshine. They were shipping it to New York and making like. Hundreds of thousands of dollars, and you would have never have known. I would no, I didn't know until I saw it in the paper. I was like, oh, maybe next God. time they need to put like furniture on the <laughs> or something like that. Well, I mean, it, it, but it didn't stop them. They just keep making moonshine in their yards anyway. Everybody, everybody there makes moonshine. So you make moonshine? No, but I've I've had some moonshine. Well, who has it? No, oh, yeah. <laughs> but um, it, it's it's been very uh, it's been a very crazy road. I was and my brothers and from that small town there, and we had. A record deal and everything and we couldn't get together and so that broke up and then I started playing for Carrie Underwood in her band and for about two and a half years I saw her rise to stardom and everything and and then I left her band because I saw this ad on TV for uh, this show called the next great American band yes and um, I called two of my brothers that I kind of got along with <laughs> and I was like guys we can win this show man all we got to do is send in a tape and so we we sang, we play we grew up playing bluegrass so we we played a few songs we sent in the tape and to make a long story short we we won the show and there were, and that there was only one season of that show and we won and the guy who made that show was Simon Fuller who also created American Idol correct and when we won that show he became my manager our manager oh, wow yeah is he is he what he portrays on TV oh not Simon Cowell I, but uh, no but I mean. Oh, Simon Fuller, yes. Yeah, yeah, everybody. He's, he's the nicest, like, nicest, like, soft-spoken guy you've ever met. Because he's, he's, like, he's shown up on American Idol from time to time. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Uh, some people think getting confused yeah, they, with Simon Cowell. I'm sorry. Cowell. But um, anyway, so if I'm rambling, just stop. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, he, uh, my, my, brother, my three brothers, uh, we, we did a record, and that kind of fell apart. We, we just couldn't, we weren't. It was inevitable. We just weren't getting along. You got issues with your brothers, I, don't yeah, you? Yeah, we do. Right. I, 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 I need a couch. Here that's a whole nother, That's a whole nother Oprah. <laughs> we can't get into it right now, but but um, but but uh, my manager called me and said um, that Mutt Lang uh, wanted to meet me, and I I remember Mutt Lang from Shania Twain and Back in Black, Death and Leopard, Death, oh, yeah. AC DC. And I was I thought he was kidding. I was like. For real, he's and, only produced a few big artists, you know. Yeah, and and so what happened was, he I said of course yes I, w I would love to meet him and he flew me out to um, Los Angeles and to his office there and there's there was Mutt and we just started talking we just talked probably for like eight hours we're just talking and talking and the sun started going down and everyone in the office left and we were just sitting there talking about music family and. Uh, bluegrass and ACDC, I mean, just everything, you know. <laughs> and um, next thing I knew, I, I was on a plane uh, to the Bahamas and started recording 
with it's not a bad head. place to go to record. No, it was uh, it, it it was kind of like how, how I felt like I won the lottery or something, you know. And and we we made this record, and I'm just kind of I'm now I'm here with you, you know. I'm just kind of living on and living the dream, you know. It seems like a nightmare at first, though. It turned <laughs> into a dream. Yeah, it's it's definitely been a crazy uh, crazy road, for sure. Ashley Clark.